I need to touch my foot. Come on, you felt the filming. It's going, it's happening. I need to set the thing for something. Already else. happening. That really hurt. Is it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Come on. Is it filming? Yeah, it's filming. It's right, been yeah, filming for ages. Tim Minchin is going. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Darren. And I'm Groom. And we've just watched John Carpenter's The Thing. We have. What did you think? I enjoyed it. What is it about? Snowy land and a, a thing. Oof. There's an example of some of the noises the thing makes. That was my stomach. Um, so it's a, it's an animal from somewhere. Uh, it might people? not be Everything an animal. Snow. Yeah. And there's an alien amongst them. Was that the shortened version of what I was going to say? Yeah. Oh. And it can take the guys. Is that the right word? Take the guys. Yeah. I don't mean guys as in men. Like appearance. Oh. Of anybody. Oh, guys. G U I S E. Yes. So, somebody could be an alien, they don't know who, they don't know when, they don't know why. Mm hmm Yeah. Also, they've got to kill it, because if, if it gets to society, it's going to take over the world. It could, it has the potential to. According yeah. to an old computer that they're using. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yes, old. what did you think? Yeah, it's great. Um, That's the correct answer. A lot of the uh, special effects are fantastic, really, yes. for the uh, for the time. And stuff like that. Even for now. Um, prosthetic, uh, prosthetics, right electronics. Like, yeah, all that stuff, all the, all the, you know, jelly wrapped around a electronic skeleton, that stuff. Yeah, it's all very good. Um, it's very good. Kurt Russell's excellent. He is excellent. Did you like him more in this or a Snake Plissken in Escape from New York? Uh, I liked him in this as his character. Well, that's what I meant. But I liked Snake Plissken, like who he is. <laughs> right. So, so what does and that like mean? how he behaves and stuff like that. So you prefer Snake Plissken? His how he behaves, but I like this guy's character. S I don't know what the question was. Now you're giving me such a weird answer. Um, <laughs> uh, Snake Plissken was like kind of like a bit tongue in cheek, wasn't he? <clears throat> Whereas this guy, where was it? What McReady? Um, Macready. Macready. <laughs> um, it was a lot more. Normal. I don't know, like, yeah, yeah, but with, like, an attitude. Like, he was a cool dude. Like, yeah, he's a tough guy. Yeah, yeah. He plays a tough guy, a snake, obviously, but um, it's it's kind of... It's it's a, it's, a, it's an exaggerated kind of... It's like an archetype. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, an anti-hero. Yeah, yeah. And it, 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 all very good characters, and, and he does a good job on both, because I think that's just the kind of guy he is. He does. I think before we started these John Carver movies, you probably associated Kurt Russell with Stuntman Mike, didn't you? Stuntman Mike and uh, Sky High. Yeah, which is shit. Sky High is really bad. That was my favourite Kurt Russell film. It was like Power Rangers in school. It ended up being exactly like Power Rangers, yeah. but it was still quite good and I still enjoy it. I still enjoy mm. that film. I mean, Power Rangers would be improved with Kurt Russell and Bruce Campbell, but <laughs> that would still be them blurring themselves. Um, there's somebody else who's in it as well. I suspect there is. Mm. It, the film would be significantly better if there wasn't. <laughs> um, um, anyway. But yes, yeah, so hopefully now I've shown you some good Kurt Russell films, you can see that he's yeah. actually not, you know, he's better than those two pieces of crap that you associated <laughs> him with. Death Proof's alright. No, it's not. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't know. I, I think you should watch it. Stump my mic. He's great. I, you should watch yeah, it I like, again. Like, I think he's good as Stump my mic, but yeah. I think it's an awful, awful film. Yeah, but but uh, yeah 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 okay fair enough. But like point proven. <laughs> I like the I've, film. I've you around. I like the film. Like, yeah. No, I hate it. It's awful. What do you mean? No, I hate it. I said I like the film, and you said no, I hate it. Yeah. There's nothing to disagree with. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to death proof. Yeah. Okay. It's just well, anyway. really shit. Anyway. <laughs> they so told what did me you think of death proof. Is, I, is I, this a death proof video? Seems like it. It seems like it right now, doesn't it? What you mean, rubbish? <laughs> it's not that bad, honestly. We could do fuck all, but just stare at this screen for three hours, and it would be better than uh, Death Proof. I hate it. it Feels shorter too. It would, and the dialogue would be better. <laughs> um, yes, uh, the thing was very good. It was. It's what did one you of think my... of the thing? What the creature in the film? I thought the thing was a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. It's masterpiece. one of. I think that. When people start it's slagging off good. remakes, this is one of those that you can say, oh, remakes can be okay sometimes, mm. along with Who the plot. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Have you seen question. the first? I've seen the bit of the first that is in Halloween on the telly. 
Oh, right, okay. So, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially, Neil. But I know that it's just Not a guy in a suit in that film chasing them. Right, I see. Yeah. This is very different. Yes. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's excellent. I was thinking, I don't know because I haven't really read up on it, but it felt like it... I mean, I think this is, it's definitely got to be about communism in that, you know, they don't know who's... They can't trust each other and they don't <laughs> know who's doing what or anything. Yeah. But then there was that bit where the guy was sitting cross-legged on the floor and they set him on fire. Mm. That reminded me of that Buddhist monk in Vietnam. Yeah, and yeah. I was yeah. thinking like, that's kind of like Vietnam as well because in Vietnam you couldn't find, you know, the, the like the Vietnamese were hiding, mm. so it was like well not the Vietnamese but the Viet Cong. So mm. this kind of reminded me of that as well, like the aliens hiding, like uh, so I don't know, just words I'm saying and how know. and how they'd um, disguise themselves as one of them and stuff like that. I don't remember that happening. I don't think the Viet, Viet, the Viet Cong like white, disguised white themselves up. as American soldiers and that's how they won the war. Basically. Fair enough, I didn't know that. History lesson for you there, guys. Mm. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> so, yeah. I liked... There's one particularly good part um, of Which this film. Are you going to say, is the bit where his head turns into a spider? Well, it's the bits leading up to that as well. Like, the whole thing's, like, attached to the ceiling and on this, like, table. Yeah. It's on fire. <clears throat> and it's like, it's, it's like its head is writhing in pain so much or whatever. That it's it actually pull it like detaches yeah. itself from its own body, cool. and then the head like shoots out like a grasp thing, crawls and then cr and then grows legs and crawls away. It's, it's it's amazing, like it's a really shocking part. That bit where the head's like coming apart reminds me of the bit in Day of the Dead where Sergeant or whatever it is Sergeant or Colonel Rhodes gets eaten. Spoiler alert. It's been a while since you've seen it. Ah, uh, it's amazing. Does it remind you of when uh, what's his name from Black Books gets uh, eaten in? Shaun of the Dead, because he has he's in the middle of uh, you know, all Well, that bits. that bit kind of reminds me of when mm. Rhodes gets killed as well. Okay. I think that might be intentional on their part. Okay. Uh, but yes, yeah, I, I kind like... of I kind of assumed it would be a, a throwback to something, you know, like a yeah. <clears throat> Go on. Rhodes, uh, Rhodes is the one that shouts choke on him when the zombies start eating him. I just like entrails. Oh no, it's been a long time since I've seen oh, it. I fucking love Dawn of, uh, Day of the Dead. Yeah, Day of the Dead's really good. Dawn. Day of the Dead's that yeah. uh, one. Is it M1A1 or something? Yeah. Really, yeah, yeah. That's like... Is there anyone there? Yeah, yeah, that's from Day of the Dead. I remember. Uh, oh, I, remember. I like the scene in The Thing. Go yeah. back to The Thing. Yeah. Where he's got the blood and he's like putting the metal wire in to find out who's the it's bad guy. It's quite interesting, yeah. Is that the tense scene yeah, that you remember? Yeah, that's the bit that every time I watch it I've forgotten who it is so it always makes me jump when we find yeah, out. Yeah, because then, it's never like, it's it's not just like the typical like lead up to no, no. oh and then well, it's Well it him. sets it up doesn't it? Because yeah, it yeah, goes yeah. like I thought you'd say that that's why I'm going to do you last. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's and amazing. I, I, I had no idea if it was the person that it was. I was like oh yeah is it him? Mm. It's not even like I remember. Yeah. And I, even though I've seen this film like six or seven times I literally never remember the ending when I watch it like I, I, don't, I don't know why. I yeah. feel like some weird Mental block on that. So, with your first impressions over again, <laughs> yeah. what did you think of the end? I really liked it. Yeah. Um, the only thing that's kind of confusing is the music, because when I watch a John Carpenter film, I like everything that I like about a cliche John Carpenter film, mm. including his kind of techno cool music. I don't know if techno is the right word, electronic. Yeah. It's like I, I really like Ennio Morricone, or where you pronounce that name, Ennio. but I like it when it's, you know, a picture of Clint Eastwood shooting some random Mexican in the face. <laughs> and so, it's not that I don't like the music in the thing. I just would really love a pure John Carpenter soundtrack. But then listening to it, some of it does just sound like a John Carpenter soundtrack. Well, they use that same track like 15 times, don't they? Like... Yeah, it makes me wonder if he just did that. Yeah. And then Morricone did some other shit to go with it and he just didn't get credited. I don't know. I'll have to Google it, I suppose. <laughs> But yes, it's good. It's very good. <clears throat> Music, special effects, acting. Yeah, you, we, I, well, I said it like when watching it, you can see that the special effects on the monster have improved since the beach ball in Dark Star, the, <laughs> yeah. the beach ball with flippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But even that was done well. Like it yeah, was, I enjoyed it. It had its own little personality, you know, yeah. it, was, mm. it was interesting. Is Dark Star, which is better, Dark Star or The Thing? Dark Star? Mm. Well, I'm going to have to think about I think that the, the thing. The Thing was like amazing because you watch it and you just like it's like this whole place wherever it was you know filmed on location like in like in the north or south pole or whatever it's like it was due for demolition so they just said like who wants to destroy this place and that's all they do they're just chopping up doors and setting fire to all the rooms and it's amazing i wish somebody would give me an axe and just say destroy this place yeah i have and so film much it or no 
Just, you just want to I don't want to be filmed when I've got an erection. You're right, yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> just makes it worse, doesn't it? Yeah, but uh, it does. <laughs> um, but um, if I was a thing and you had to work out if I was the real me or a thing, yeah. what would you do? Ah, oh, safe by the bell. Mm. Not really. Um, to, uh, what would I do? That's a weird question. I don't know. Because I was, I was watching. I mean, is this a uh, you? Were you, were you after like a jokey answer or what? I think would have worked for the film. Just something vaguely interesting. I don't think this is, applies to any of that. But um, if you were, a th- I think I'd cut the person's hair. <laughs> Why would you cut my hair? Not like style it. I just mean like surely, because it's about blood and stuff, and it's about protecting its own kind of. <laughs> so I think yeah. instead of having to slice your thumb. Yeah. Centrally and yeah. open. Just cut your hair because surely it's got you know it's going to protect its own hair. It's a, hair. It's a different film, isn't it? Yeah. They they've got Kurt Russell with a flamethrower and everyone tied to a chair as he slices their thumbs. You've just got people sitting on the floor, probably their socks and shoes off as you just rub <laughs> their heads. Yeah. yeah. And you know they, you a know, whale noise soundtrack <laughs> on in the background. If they get snippy, then uh, yeah, we shoot them in the head first. Well, I can guarantee I would get snippy. Yeah. Well, you'd be going first. Yeah. Oh well. So that's what you do. So why, what, how would you test if I was... No, I'd just say on fire. Oh. Win-win. Oh, dear. Mm. I've never liked you. No. <laughs> mm. I know. Just, yeah, anyway. You're just not a nice person. I gave you some chocolates before. I didn't eat them. Well, that's not my fault. I'll take them home, I suppose. No, you won't. You have to eat them in this room. Those are the rules. <laughs> They're going in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat them before I go. Fine. I'll gobble them down in five minutes. Well, I can tell that's the kind of thing you do. <laughs> Chubby. Oh my god. Okay, well, before I beat the crap out of Darren. I never say the word crap. No, I didn't feel natural when didn't, you said didn't it. Didn't, yeah, yeah. I think I was censoring myself for the video. Wait. Isn't that nice of me? Does that mean I'm an alien? I don't know. I'll have to set you on fire and find out. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, the thing is a masterpiece. Come watch it. It's really good. I, do, I, I just don't masterpiece know. is a big word. It it's is. a strong word. And I, I think that kind of applies to like lots of John Carpenter's films. I don't. You don't realize how many classics he's done until you go through them. You know, which like, was what we've done. Yeah. Oh, still, still, still more to yeah. come. You know, what, Dark Star, next? Halloween. The, I don't know. Um, oh, I think it might be Starman, which I've not seen with Jeff Bridges. Okay. And do you like Jeff Bridges? I think is it Karen Allen from Indiana Jones? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. It's either her or Margaret, Margot Kidder, whatever her name is, Lois Lane from the Superman movies. Mm. I think it's Karen Allen. I hope it's Karen Allen. She's well better. We'll find out. Okay. But yes. Uh, but, you know, he started off amazing with Dark Star and he, he yeah, hasn't really Dark faltered Star. yet, so. No, I think the fog was a bit of a, a dip, but not too much. Yeah, it was a bit odd. Pirate ghosts. It wasn't stuff, as good but, uh, as Halloween and The Thing and all the others, but. Mm. It was but still it's, good. it's part of the collection. It's yeah. like you can't. I wouldn't. You wouldn't I wouldn't want to admit it, would you? No. I would. I like it. I love it. Yeah. It's just not quite as good. Yeah. But yeah. Slight dip. So yeah, the uh, thing is brilliant. Give it a go. Yeah, if you haven't already, which you probably have, because it's amazing and it's a classic. And who they hasn't seen it? Probably haven't. Everyone's seen the thing. I don't think a lot of people have seen the thing. The thing. And I, I don't think a lot of people really know that much about Kurt Russell either. They probably all uh, like. I think a common there's a fly in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get rid of it. Weird video answers you're blabbing. Like you're in a wind tunnel. Yeah. Gentle one. Anyway. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, what, what was I saying? You said not many people know about Kurt Russell. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. With, with what you just said. I. Well, if you just said it. Well, I agree that you said that I said it. But I also agree that, yeah, not a lot of people know who John Carpenter is. Well, many. I mean, it, there's, you know, in terms of like. The people on the planet, I suspect more people don't know him than do. Yeah. But it's not like he's not famous. Every, you know, he sticks his name in front no, of yeah. every film he does. Except That's maybe the recent ones. <laughs> yeah. If he's got any sense. Um, <laughs> oh. But yes. Okay. Well, go and enjoy them and watch them and, and enjoy them some more. Yes. Uh, they come recommended from us. Certainly from me. Yeah, me too. What do you think? I'm lying. <laughs> I have to say it on fire and find out. <laughs> oh, That's my answer for everything. <laughs> Apparently so. Oh well. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.